Uh, yeah, hi. It's Captain Photo with this crazy thing on my head today. I, I need to get a, a USB mic. Until then, I, I'm using the Bluetooth in this. I was finishing up today's um, photo, and I realized I, I had some lines that weren't quite straight, and, and I needed to do just a very minor, simple correction in Photoshop to bring everything into alignment. And it occurred to me that there's probably a lot of people that end up with crazy photos and you don't quite know how to do that final tweak to fix them and bring them, uh, you know, get rid of distortion, especially if you use a wide angle lens. You know, a lot of times you'll use a wide angle lens and if there's people or something in, in one of the edges, they get all distorted and, you know, pulled out kind of, kind of long like that. Doesn't look good. So... You want to correct those kinds of things. When you don't have people or something recognizable in the photo, it's not so critical. For example, you know, most landscape photos, when you're talking about roots and rocks and mountains and clouds, uh, they can be any shape at all. So a little distortion doesn't really matter that much. Okay. Anyway, this is a real quick fix. Uh, going to be a short uh, tutorial today. Uh, let's open up today's photo in Photoshop. Now, I, I had already done all the processing on this HDR photo and what happened here just a real quick story I was up in Victoria uh, British Columbia last month and uh, I was out with some folks one evening and we ducked inside the uh, Empress Hotel you know, that's a big hotel downtown there and I had my camera with me and I was with um, some people that weren't photographers now if you ever photograph with people that aren't photographers you should always think twice about doing that because non-photographers don't want to stop and, and mess around when you, know, you as a photographer have something you see and you want to create something out of it. So I always recommend when you're doing some photography, do it by yourself or at least with another photographer who's serious about it. Um, otherwise, things get a little dicey. And here's what happened on this one. So we go in the Empress Hotel I'm with some people. We're looking around. They're going down the hall. I'm going with them. And I see this beautiful carving in this woodwork. Oh, man, it's everywhere. It's on the walls and the ceiling. It's, it's everywhere. The hallway was really dark, really dark. And I wanted to capture this, especially when I passed this doorway here. And I thought, okay, this is where I'm going to set up. Well, I didn't say anything. The other, I didn't want to stop them. I just let them go ahead. I figure I'll find them later somewhere. So... I set my tripod down and I quickly set it up. Again, I mentioned it was really dark, so it was hard to see and, and get this set up properly. I did get the bottom line pretty straight, as you can see, but the top there, boy, big slant down to the left. You know, from the right to the left, it's dipping down. That doesn't look too good, so we want to correct that. Here is how I would correct it. You go into Photoshop, just open it, and... Uh, Select it, Command A on a Mac, uh, Control A on a PC will select everything. Then you go to Edit, Transform, Perspective, because we, we want to change the perspective on this, um, the way the lines converge, because these lines are all cattywampus, and we want to kind of straighten them up a little bit. Okay, so we're going to do cor uh, correction on the perspective. And then it's just a matter of, of dragging these handles on the corners uh, up and down until we get, get things the way we want them. So I'm going to go up a little bit. And you notice when you go up there, the bottom left dips down. So you sort of have to bring that one up. And then we'll go up with this one again a little bit. And then we're going to drag the whole thing up. And, the, and you do that by dragging the middle handle here. So you just grab that and pop it up a little bit. And it's, it's coming together. Um, before I, I finish this, let me uh, turn on the guides. In Photoshop, you can configure your guides so that you have street lines to kind of line up your elements with. So go to the View menu and show and show your grid okay so now you have some nice straight lines and we're still not quite there so we're going to pop this up a little more 
drag it up a little bit until the bottom is square across the bottom and the top is just a little bit going up the, too far now. So let me just, just nudge that down a bit. And let's grab the handle. So the bottom is straight. The top is eh, reasonably straight. I'm just going to pop that up just a, just a nudge and be done. Okay. That is it. And then you hit enter to um, save that correction. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the, the, the grid here just so you, know, you can see what's going on. So now, now the lines are straight, at least the horizontal lines. Now the vertical lines are still converging, but you know what? I'm okay with that look. Um, some people aren't, and you may want to correct that too. If I tried to correct that here, though, I'd be... I, I can do that. I'd have to drag the top out. In fact, I'll show you. Edit and uh, transform perspective. So you can grab this top handle and you can pull it out sideways to kind of straighten those up. But by the time I get it out there, uh, I'm cutting off the, the pillars. And, you know, you can do that and then you'll just have the room here. But, you know, for me, I just like it the way it is here. Really, deselect. So, you know, that's that's correcting the perspective, at least in the horizontal. Now, on buildings, a lot of times you'll want to do this too. I mean, you know, you, you're on the ground taking a picture of a building, looking up, and, and the building, the lines all converge, just like these two pillars. And if, if you're doing architectural photography, you're going to want to correct that if, if you're doing it for money, especially. Uh, you could spend $2,000 and get a, a shift lens to do that, but do it in Photoshop's just a lot cheaper. So it's an easier way to, to, to handle the same thing without buying an extra piece of glass to, to carry around with you. So that's today's lesson. I hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time.